guys, today I am going to show you my new velvetines from Lime Creme. And I already have them for a few days now and I have been able to test them to see uh, how the formula is uh, compared to the original Lime Creme velvetines and how the packaging is and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's get into it. So the new ones that I got are both Pansy and Cashmere. These are the two new colors that they have. And um, I already owned uh, Utopia Wicked and Pink Velvet. Yeah, Pink Velvet. And um, the first thing that I noticed when I got them is... The unicorns on top are missing and I really like that detail <laughs> time crime why and then the other thing I noticed that the font of uh, Kashmir and Pansy like the names uh, on the bottom are a different font than these three and they also have little numbers on the packaging so they definitely did um, repackaged uh, the new colors I don't know how um, it is with the colors that are were already there since these are brand new so maybe they just changed the packaging for this one or maybe they changed it overall I don't know but um, the formula is uh, yeah quite the same so that is nice I find um, they are more like um, Wicked and uh, Pink Velvet instead of Utopia. Utopia was a slightly different formula and did not last that long on me but the Kashmir and Pansy um, do so that is really nice because I really like those colors. And the other thing that is different is the packaging of the boxes. They sort of have a seal on top now. It has the name and um, the ingredients which is nice and yeah but they on the note that came with my packaging it said that uh, the box was sealed and they sort of are right but also not because on the bottom of the box you can still open it so I really don't know if those are used or not so I'm going to do something about that and my pansy packaging was a little bit like this so maybe somebody already opened this one I don't know let's hope they did not so and I got my other velvetines to kind of compare how the color is I will do swatches on my hand so you can see how dark pansy is and how light cashmere is so let's start with a lip swatch and um, the first that I am going to do is obviously cashmere because they are hard to get off and cashmere is a little bit lighter there we go I never use the applicator I always use a loose brush because I find I can control a brush much much more than this applicator the applicator is nice for when I um, am totally done and I just smooth over what is left on the applicator onto my lips so I kind of feel the yeah the coverage is even sort of And there we have cashmere it's not fully dry yet when it dries it gets a little bit darker but um, yeah this really is um, the color how it is going to look and as you can see it is quite pale compared to how the velvetines normally are they are super super bright colors and this is a different one so I feel that maybe they try to get onto the whole nude lip kind of trend I think so because yeah they never really bring out colors like this but I really like this color and um, yeah it suits also pale skin colors and that is really nice and I think with a pale color like this um, you need to um, apply a little bit more of color to your cheeks and eyes so 
yeah, it looks a bit more imbalanced. Yeah, I like the cashmere one and this is definitely a lip that I would wear on a daily basis just to school or whatever. And I got quite a few compliments on cashmere, so that's really nice as well. And let me swatch it on my hand. There you go. Here you can see how, yeah, sort of brownish. It's more of a brownish, pinky, taupey color than a gray color, like Lime Crime says. It definitely is a warm color. So if you are looking for a super gray lipstick, this is not your lipstick. So let's go to Pansy. Oh, this is so dark. <laughs> and here we have Pansy. And as you can see, this color is pretty dark on my skin tone, obviously even more. And um, I find that Pansy is a little bit harder to get um, an even coverage with, even harder than Wicked is for me. So, well, it's definitely not a lipstick you want to apply when you're in a hurry, you really need to take your time. But it lasts quite a while, so yeah, it's worth it, I guess, because you don't need to reapply that much during the day. And um, yeah, I like Pansy. It's it's kind of like heroin from MAC but slightly yeah of course a different texture because Pansy is a matte liquid lipstick and um, yeah I feel that I'm not sure if this color really is something for me I don't know and it makes my teeth a bit yellow so I need to stop talking now <laughs> And I feel that the camera is washing out a bit of the color, so I need to color correct this. So let me swatch first Utopia next to Kashmir and then Pansy so you can see how dark it really is. I think that Utopia really is a color that looks nice on me. So maybe Pansy is just too dark for me. What do you think, huh? <laughs> There you go. We have Kashmir. Oh, all the way. And Utopia. And then Pansy. And you can see how dark Pansy really is. I am happy with it, but I don't know if I am really going to wear it that much. So, I hope you find this useful. Um, overall conclusion, I like them. Uh, I like that they did not change that much uh, on the formula, which is good. Because Lime Crime tends to do that. And the staying power is great. And the one downside of, the, of all of the Velvetines is that it is a bit drying. But I prep my lips um, first uh, in the evening before with a lot of lip balm and then I uh, apply it even more in the morning and when I want to apply my velvetines I just wipe it off and then apply them and I always make sure I take a lip balm with me for yeah an emergency dryness situation on my lips I suppose so yeah yeah I like them I um, can recommend them if you are able to look through all of the madness um, that hangs around the brand Lime Crime and yeah I don't have a problem with it but I can understand why people um, have a problem so thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this useful and have a very lovely day bye bye talk to you soon